guys I am here today with a haul video I have not filmed a haul in over a month that's that's weird I used to film a haul like every three days but I'm getting better at not shopping no I'm not I'm lying I'm totally lying I've been saving up my purchases for over a month and this is what I have it's collective I have a lot of stuff I have Target and I have Sephora I have a lot of NARS to show you guys so as usual as my haul videos always are this is gonna be long that's just how life is so grab a cookie grab a soda and let's get hauling Okay, so let's do drugstore, like Target, and then we'll do NARS. So I picked up some more products from Laneige because you guys know how I feel about Laneige. It's, it's just my baby daddy. So I picked up the Power Essential Skin Toner. I love, love their packaging. Oh, it's so beautiful. So I have not tried this. It's for combination to oily skin. I've never found a toner that I really like. If anybody could sway me in the direction of like a holy grail toner it would be Laneige so we'll see you better just I don't like you today I don't okay I also picked up the bright renew original serum and the bright renew night cream these are supposed to be really really good for hyperpigmentation my girlfriend uses both of these products and she is really really bad i'm sorry sarah if you're watching she is really bad hyper i mean not bad but she has a lot of hyperpigmentation since she's been using these products i'm telling you she looks like a different person if they work for me the way that they've worked for her i will be the happiest girl in the world so i will let you guys know how these work out for me because i know a lot of you also deal with hyperpigmentation so I promise you, as soon as I find a fix, you will be the first to know about it. I picked up two things from Sonia Kashuk. Everybody on YouTube has been talking about this Ion Neutral palette. This is what it looks like. I've come to realize that eyeshadow is my thing. Like Tati from Glam Life Guru, her thing is mascara. Shannon Harris from ShanXO, her thing is lipstick. My thing, not that I'm in the same category as those women, but my thing is eyeshadow. I cannot stop buying eyeshadow. I have so many palettes, so many singles. I have no excuse for buying this because I did not need it, but a matte palette that's supposed to be really nice, I need it in my life. And then I also got the brightening powder, another product that I really did not need. I have a lot of powders, and I don't use powder that much, but I want to give it a try. I'm not going to open it because it's just like a white, loose powder. I won't be able to, you know, we won't be able to tell anything by looking at it. I have to put it on this face. And then I got another one of my Sonia Kashuk 105 brushes. This is the brush. It's called the Smudge Brush. I use this for cleanup on my manicures. And you guys ask me all the time what brush I use. This is it right here. Sonia Kashuk 105. Best cleanup brush ever. And then I got these Ardell Corset Lashes. These are like some super dramatic lashes. You guys don't see me in lashes very often because I just don't like them. And my lashes are pretty long, so I don't know. I feel like I can get away with what I have. But I don't know. I really want to love lashes. I really want to wear them because I do think they make a look pop. But I don't know. We'll see. These are like super drama. So maybe I'll do like a really dramatic fall tutorial and add these in. We'll see. I don't know. I want I want to love them. I just they're so uncomfortable and they're like heavy and then they poke you and ugh, just don't have time for that. And then I picked up all but two of the new <laughs> Maybelline creamy mattes. So I have all of them here. I shouldn't even be telling you that because I don't think I'm going to swatch them for you in this video because I want to do a video on just these products. Um, maybe I'll go through each and like each one and just show you guys the colors so I got daringly nude which is a really pretty nude and then there's another nude one this one's lighter so this is nude embrace so that's the lightest one and then this is daringly nude so you can see this one's a little bit more pink 
So got those two. I haven't swatched these. I haven't tried them on. I've done nothing with them. I'm going to do a first impression and like swatch them on my lips for you guys. So don't be mad that I'm not swatching them in this video. It's coming. And then I got Touch of Spice, which is really pretty. I feel like I'm going cross-eyed when I look at them. And then I got Ravishing Rose, which I like Ravishing Rose from their original line, so I'm sure that I will like this one. It's just a really pretty pink. And then I have Lust for Blush, which is another one that I really like in their Color Whispers. A pretty, like, it's like a pinkish purple, kind of. I don't know, it's a different color and I like it. Some of these are really hard to twist. Like this one, it's, dang it. Maybelline cutting corners on packaging. <laughs> what, who are you to tell Maybelline what they're doing? This one is Siren and Scarlet. I love a good matte red. Oh, love it, love it, so pretty. And the last two, I got Craving Coral, which is a really nice like reddish orange. You guys really like me in bright lips, so I feel like I should wear them more often. And then the last one is Faint for Fuchsia. Oh, this is probably my favorite one. I love bright, bold pink lips. Oh, so good. And then I got two of the L'Oreal Collection Privé lipsticks. These were the only two that I didn't have, so now I have the whole collection. I got Julianne's Nude. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh, I love the formulation of these. They are so creamy. Here, I'll swatch this one for you guys. So that's Julianne's Nude. They're just so moisturizing and easy to wear. I love these so much. If you guys haven't tried them, they're good stuff. And then this is Frida's Nude. I thought this was a really unique color. It's like a grayish purple. Look at that. Isn't that really cool? I don't know, with the right makeup, I think that would be really neat. So I'm excited to try this one. Yay! Okay, I think that's it for the drugstore. So now moving into Sephora. I picked up the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask in Champagne. Now I have the original one and I really like it. I hate the packaging and it feels like they switched up the packaging. The original one has almost like a metal packaging and when, if I say packaging one more time, when you squeeze it, it like breaks and cracks and it's just not good. So this one feels a little bit better. And this one has a very pretty like peachy gold tone to it. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see, I'll do a close up. But do you see that? It's so pretty. These are so moisturizing, like they are super thick on your lips but in a good way. I really like the original one but I like this one even better because it does have the color. So I feel like I can wear it like all day and not feel like a bum because I just have no color on my lips. Do you guys know what I mean? Even if you have no makeup on, if I put just a little bit of color on my lips, I feel so much better. So I used to wear the original one during the day but I would want color so it was like this big dilemma They've solved my dilemma. I got another blush from Kat Von D. I have Pore Vita. It's somewhere, and I love it, but it's a little intense. <laughs> I say that as I, wait till you guys see this one. This is Love Song. I know, it's kind of intense as well, but it's not, I don't know. I just think it's so pretty. I can't, I can't stop buying pink blush. It's a problem. I need to go to Pink Blushers Anonymous. I think we've had this conversation before. I'm feeling deja vu, but this is gorgeous. And the Kat Von D makeup line, everything from her makeup line that I've tried, it's it's like the best stuff in Sephora, no joke. I mean, Kat Von D, girlfriend, you and your tattoos are killing it right now. I love Kat Von D, I think she's like badass and oh, her makeup is bomb. And then this is also from Kat Von D. This is the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Armageddon. Look at this adorable packaging, again with the pink. I just can't get away from pink. So this is supposed to be a really long wearing lipstick. <laughs> Now 
I have, let me show you guys, I have it right here. This is the Sephora Luster Matte Longwear Lip Color in Lilac Luster. So these look very similar. I know, but I've heard that these are really, really nice. So I wanted to give this one a try <laughs> because I really like this one. So I just want to like compare and see which one's better. It's just for research for you guys. So do you guys believe that? Probably not. Okay, I have a ton of stuff from NARS. So I'm going to start with their new audacious lipsticks these are like works of art i'm not even kidding i got three of them my mom got these for me the first one is juliet okay we need to talk about the packaging it is gorgeous and it has a magnet closure which i really like you guys look at that now i will do a close-up it has the nars like logo imprinted on it it is so beautiful I haven't even swatched this yet because I don't want to mess it up, but of course I'll swatch it for you guys in the close-up. I just think it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I, You guys know how I feel about NARS. <sighs> Getting out of breath. The next one I got is Claudia. I think this is the one. Yes, this is my favorite one. Oh my God, look at that. Pink. It's pink. But it's so beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I potentially may pass out. This is beautiful. I did not need another pink lipstick. But my gosh. These are just gorgeous. Absolutely. Like my breath is gone. They took my breath away. NARS has stolen my breath. And then the last one I got is Fanny. I love that name. And this one I just thought was so pretty for fall. It's like that deep, like purple berry color, but it's not too deep. I like it. I haven't tried it, but I already like it. I mean, NARS, you can't go wrong. Anything from NARS is going to just knock your socks off. Okay, so I got a few more of their lip glosses, just the regular, Just it just says lip gloss on the packaging. This one I love so 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 much it's called istria it has the tiniest bit of shimmer in it but when i opened it up look it's broken it cracked right up here and if i take this the whole way out there is i mean it just gets really messy so we're not going to do that i'm going to take it back and get a fresh one this is the most gorgeous pink with the tiniest just like hint of shimmer in it I can't. I'm so sad that it's broken because I want to wear it right now. And then I also got Easy Lover. I had this one before and I really liked it. I know it looks scary, but on your lips, this one just gives you a really pretty, like very light pink. It's almost like a duochrome. It's just really, really nice. And it's very deceiving because it doesn't look like this on your lip. And then the last one I got is Tasmania. Oh gosh, you guys. Look at that. Look at how beautiful these are. Is it just me or does NARS do like the best lip glosses ever? So this one, again, I think this one has a tiny bit of a, a shimmer in it. Wait, I could be wrong. No, this one's just like a milky peach. You guys aren't even going to be able to see that. This one's really light, but it's one of those that just makes your lipstick look so like juicy. And ugh, I'm a sucker for NARS. We know this. I mean, just look how pretty these are. And the new packaging, and I just, I'm sorry. I know. Move on. You need to move on. Okay, I got another blush from NARS. This is Luster. Now, I told you guys in my NARS video that I really like this blush. I can't find it. I don't know what happened to it. So, I picked up another one. It's like a really weird color. It's peach, but it's really a light peach. This would be a blush that I would wear if I was doing a super dramatic eye or a super dramatic lip and you just want something very subtle. This is beautiful on. And then I got six of their dual intensity eyeshadows. Now these I did not purchase. These were sent to me. I don't know who sent them to me though. 
Um, I got a package in the mail just in a little white box and it had the nicest card in it and it just said love your channel thank you so much for being inspiring and it was just a really really nice card and it was just signed I think they just put like your YouTube fan or something like that so I don't know if these were sent to me from NARS or just a really really gracious subscriber so if you sent these to me thank you so much I I don't know where they came from but you can bet your bottom dollar these will be put to good use okay so the first one I got is Desdemona NARS comes out with some of the weirdest names now look how cute these are I just really love the packaging again oh, it's like a duochrome purple pink do you see that when I turn it it has this like duochrome sheen to it what's what are you doing it's beautiful absolutely beautiful oh my gosh I love it I freaking love it and then I got I don't know how to say this name Giove G-I-O-V-E probably jacked that up this one is a really intense navy blue but again it has that like sheen to it oh my gosh you guys will see in the close-up okay the next one is I don't know how to say it Dione D-I-O-N-E I'm not sure this is one of my favorites now this one I already had I have it I've been wearing it and I love it I can tell you guys these are worth the money I know they're pricey the way that they look on your eyes it's like wet that like wet foiled super intense metallic oh my god I can't just look at that I, I'm telling you guys eyeshadow is my thing it's my freaking thing this next one is Callisto this is my favorite one this one I also own and I've been wearing it it just it looks so intense on your eye that it looks wet oh <sighs> I'm telling you guys I can't breathe I cannot breathe look at that Oh, Jesus, thank you, Lord, for making eyeshadow. <laughs> okay, two more, and then we are done with this long-ass video. This is Andromeda, and this I really, really like. Now, I wouldn't have bought this just because I feel like it's basic. I'm not basic in a bad way, but I have so many light eyeshadows, but I'm thinking this one, you know what, let me give this one a little swatch. See, yeah, I feel like this one doesn't have the intensity that the other ones have, but it's gorgeous. I mean, I haven't fully swatched it yet, so I could be totally off my rocker, but we'll see. And then the last one is Lasithia. Lasithia. Probably not saying that right. And this one is like a grayish silver, but it almost looks like it has a green undertone, like a super light green I don't know I just they're so pretty they're so freaking beautiful I'm sorry I spent so much time on these guys I will do a get ready with me using some of these eyeshadows so that you guys can see them in action they are incredible I'm telling you I mean you have not lived I finally started living because I have them and the last thing I got is the Naked Basics 2 palette from Urban Decay. Now you guys know I really like the first one. I just talked about it in my favorites video. This one, mine's looking a little beat up. Like this shadow is kind of broken. But I think this is really, really pretty. I like that these shadows, I feel like these all go together a little bit better than the first one. Even though I can make all of them work and I love that one. I mean, I wear it all the time. This one, I feel like I could almost do more looks with it because you have a little bit more like range of color. I don't know, am I making sense? But the I mean, the quality on this is good. It's Urban Decay. So yeah, if you guys want to see a look with this, let me know. Okay, you guys, that's it for today. I f oh, I forgot something. Wow, you better relax. So I had to pick these up just for you guys I'm gonna research these and I'm gonna let you guys know how they are if you believe that I have a bridge I'd like to sell you um, these are the beauty blender micro minis now let me just say there is nothing that you can do 
with this that you can't do with the original beauty blender but I just had to look how tiny that is it is so cute and you get two of them I don't know I feel like this is a total gimmick and it's nothing different like it's the same it feels the same as the original one it's just super super tiny and super cute oh my gosh I just I don't know. I'll definitely use this in my upcoming Get Ready With Me video so you guys can see it in action and we'll discuss how I feel about them because I haven't used it yet. Alright, so that is it for today. Thank you guys if you made it to the end of this video. I'm sorry sometimes I just get a little carried away. If there are any products that I showed you guys today that you would definitely like to see used in a video, just let me know. And I do plan on filming a couple get ready with me videos or like tutorials so that I can start using some of these products. So I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you guys thumbs up, subscribe to my super exciting long video making channel. And I will see you guys next time. Mwah! I love you guys. Bye. It tasted fresh because I am fresh. Fresh to death. Mm. <laughs> what?